Well, it's been 20 years since Firestorm destroyed 114 homes in Spokane. And to prevent a similar tragedy now from happening, there are ways you can protect your home from an out-of-control wildfire. KXOI's Eric Loney live this morning to show us uh, how to reduce the fire fuels on your property and things heating up and drying out, uh, Eric. Yeah, the fire danger is increasing. You can see these guys here with Chiwak uh, Firewise are doing what's called Firewise. They're getting the property here ready in case a firefighter a fire comes through. Todd Graves runs the company. Basically, what do you guys do for property owners? We come in, work with the property owner, meet with them, see, uh, give them advice on how to make their property more fire safe. We'll uh, help with the help of the state, implement a plan for them, and we come in and and reduce the fire spread potential on their property. And what are you doing here? These guys are clearing out about trees every 10 feet or so. I mean, what do you guys try to do? Yeah, I like to have a good spacing so that we take out the diseased or damaged or uh, bug-ridden trees, get rid of the unhealthy ones, and uh, get more sunlight, more moisture. And the ones we leave, we prune them up and make it so it's more resistant to fire spread. Because what, when you, the before and after, we have some video that we took yesterday of a very tight forest. What's wrong with that? Yeah, that's just a lot of fuel, tightly compacted. You can get a lot of flame length out of that, a lot of intense fire. This keeps the fire down to a minimum if it comes in here. Hopefully it stays on the ground and the firefighters can have time to get in and get it out before it gets to the structure. Now right now he's doing, what is he doing right now? He's, he's eliminating those ladder fuels because that fire likes to climb up and get up where it's windy. So uh, Mike's over there on the chainsaw right now, eliminating the ladder fuels, basically pruning the tree. Now, what does it do for a, a homeowner when you guys, uh, after you trim it out, what does it do when you get it cleared up? Does it really slow it down? It really slows the fire down. It makes the what's left, it makes the forest and the trees around structures and people's property more healthy. And, uh, and these trees are going to grow a lot better than they were when they're tightly compacted. Okay, and one of the things that you guys do, we showed a little earlier, you're creating a pile over there. You're going to chew this all up and leave it like what you kind of see over here to your left. Yeah, we can either chew it up with the masticator and leave the debris here, or we can chip it. Uh, it just depends on the situation. Use chippers. Okay. Nadine, Mike, for more information, you can go to their website. It's chiwackwildfire.com, and they, they, it kind of explains more of their services. But you can see these guys are getting this area ready in case a wildfire blows through there. It's going to come through a lot slower than had it had all those tight trees together. Boy, and they can clear things pretty darn fast, too. All right, thanks. Yeah, it said they can do an acre or two in a day. Wow. All right.